Hey guys, welcome to Tenu Tech Hacks. If today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share with your friends. Uh, today we're gonna learn how to put a border in your Microsoft Word. How to add borders to your work. So there are a lot of borders. You've created your document, and then you want to add borders. We have different ways of doing it. Today we will look at one of the easiest ways to add borders to our work. So without wasting much time, let's quickly go to design. Then let's go to the far end of our paper. You're going to see that we have borders, page borders. You click on it. Now when you scroll through here, all the lines you see here are examples of borders. So let me choose the first one here and then click OK. Did you see any change? Nothing changed. Because when you look here, it says none. So this one has been selected. Anyway, let's look at others. You see that? OK. You can equally come here, down here, scroll here, choose whatever you want. Do you see? You can equally go there, choose this. Do you see? Yeah. Okay. We have 3D bodies. Can you see? We also have all other types. Fine. So these are preset bodies that are there already. Now I want us to go and then select a different type of border that is not here or cannot be selected from here. So when you come down here, you can say on the none, you click on none, then you scroll through. These types of borders are different from the originals that we have. So when I choose the first one, this is what you see. You see that? When I go there, I can select something different like uh, this. And I click OK. This is how it also looks like. When I go back there, I can equally go there and then select something like this. I click OK. I can also come there and then choose something different like uh, um, this. So anything you select or you choose there, you are going to get the result you are looking for. We also have the width. You can decide to increase the width or reduce the width. So when I increase it to 24, this is how it looks like. You can see the difference. When I go back there and I reduce it to, let's say, 8, this is how it looks like. Depending on the weight you are going to select. When I choose something different like this, mm, like this, and I increase the weight to 25, this is how it's going to look like. When I go there, I can decide to reduce it to, let's say, 8. And this is what's going to look like. So, like I said already, depending on the type of the wood you're going to choose. We have others here, like the shadow. You can also choose the one that has shadows. The sh shadows are there, but if you don't look criti critically, you are not going to see it. Yeah. So, that's it. We have different types. Yeah, this one too equally, we can increase the width. We can increase the width or choose whatever style we want. As you can see. Okay. We also have here, you can apply it to only a section of the work page or the whole document. Depending on what you want to do. The whole document, this section, this section, first page only, this section all except the first page you can do that for all yes that's when you are practicing on your own you can do that all right we also have 
customization there you can choose what you value you want to do but we're not going to waste time on that so that is it for today if you enjoy the lesson don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and then don't forget to share with your friend see you another time bye bye